So, lumipat na ako from the iPhone to the Huawei P60 Pro. Ito na siya. Actually, dinala ko to sa Europe for the past few months. And oh my God, this has changed the game for me. Ang pinaka-struggle ng aking iPhone is yung kanyang low-light capabilities. Although, napakaganda ng pictures niya sa outdoors. And also, napakaganda ng kanyang video. But after some time, I realized, mas reliable pala. Bro, and magkano na to? This, my friends, is only... 58,990 pesos. It is the most affordable flagship device that you can buy right now. Magkano si S23 Ultra? 81,990 pinakamura niya. Si iPhone 15 Pro Max, 84,990. The difference is 23 and 26,000 respectively. And that's a lot of money. At ito po yung nakita namin na, kinumpare namin si S23 Ultra, si iPhone 15 Pro, and the Huawei P60 Pro in low light. As in extreme low light ha, ito yung itsura niya. Side by side, the difference is just massive. Even though si P60 Pro launched way back earlier this year, and the results are just, oh my God, ang layo, grabe. Also, the zooming on this thing is just incredible, unmatched. Ito ba yung itsura nung ginawa namin sa Switzerland? Nag-zoom in ako sa mountains, nakita ko yung paragliding dun sa horizon. Sa display, medyo malabo pa siya, but after clicking that shutter button, meron siyang ginagawang post-processing na sobrang pinapaganda yung image after you click that shutter button. But of course, for the money, saving 20,000, 26,000 pesos is massive. At tinan naman yan. Sobrang pang flagship yung design. Ang ganda. It looks luxurious. Right beside the iPhone 15 Pro, di ba? But it's, it's still subjective, syempre. Nasa taste mo naman yan kung mas gusto mo yung pagka-professional uh, looking design ng iPhone. Pero kasi... Kung ayaw mo na tong klaseng design, meron siyang other color, which is this. Kung gusto mo na lang, simple. Also, I bought the case for this. Galing pang China to. 1,300 pesos to, guys. Ang ganda kasi. This is a Porsche design. But yes, I have used it. I love it. And I'm excited to tell you more about the Huawei P60 Pro. Up at Spins. And you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo! <laughs> Now for the past few weeks, I have switched to this phone. I have bought a very reliable charger. One that is faster, has more ports, and much more reliable. Ito po si Ugreen Nexode Robogun Charger, 65 watts. Sobrang cute niya. May display pa. And also, fast charging din siya. Maraming ports. Napakaganda po niyan. The Ugreen Nexode RG 65 watt charger has three ports. Dalawang USB Type-C at isang USB Type-A. It charge ng sabay-sabay yung mga device niyo. iPhone, tablet, laptop, Ito ah, get an iPhone charged to 60% in 30 minutes or the latest MacBook Air to 70% in just one hour. Bakit ang bilis? Kasi meron siyang bold gun fast technology. With gun fast technology, the RG65 watts provides 95% energy conversion, efficiency, meaning there's less energy loss, and better reduction in heat generation while charging. So yung device mo mag-charge ng faster and you also save energy overall during a charge. And don't worry, Meron pa siyang thermal guard protection. Ugreen's built-in thermal guard system monitors temperature changes in real time providing instant device protection from overheating, overcharging, and excessive current. Also, wide compatibility. Gumagana po siya sa power delivery, QC, SCP, and FCA. And guys, dalawa po yung color niya. Meron pa siyang black and meron pa siyang pink. Siyempre, pang cheeks yung pink or kung mahilig ka sa pink, why not? Diba? May ribbon po yung likod ng pink color for extra cuteness. Speaking of cuteness, may sapatos po po siyang cover. No? Kapag ka, tinanggal mo yung sapatos niya, lalabas ko kanyang mga prongs. No? Si RG prongs. The magnetic removable shoes protect the RG prongs from damage for an added level of safety. Akala nyo, design lang, no? And also, cute na cute siya kapag ka tinabi sa mga ibang toys dito sa table mo or gaming table. It adds an extra flair to your personality. Oh, by the way, meron pala siyang 30-watt charger na version si Nexo RG 30-watt charger. Ito naman isa lang yung kanyang USB Type-C port compared sa tatlo nung 65-watt. And of course, syempre, sa iPhone 14 Pro Max, instead of 60%, 51% in 30 minutes po to. Ayan po si Ugreen Nexo RG series. Check it out right now. Links down below. Go get it right now, Ugreen Nexo RG series. Oh, by the way, meron tayo isang giveaway nito. Isang 30-watt gun charger to one lucky subscriber. Mechanics sa description stand below. So yun, thank you so much, Ugreen, for sponsoring this video. I love you so much. Guys, I always use Ugreen products in my channel and in my daily life. Power banks, cables, charging brick, accessories na mga laptop, smartphones. Kumpleto yun sila. At murang-mura lang. Okay, so before I compare, syempre, dahil nag-switch tayo, 
all the way from China. Guangzhou Jianzi. I bought the Porsche design. And from this, ang bonga. Kung di ba alam si Porsche, no? Si Porsche yung sa mga luxury brands sa Europe when it comes to cars. Ito pa yung tura ng mga kotse nila. Sobrang ganda. And tinan nyo naman yan. Bagay na bagay. You even get that nice hatted dito sa display para makita mo yung mga details. Ayun, no? The time. And yung steps ko. Ayun, pinapatan nyo na. Oh, ganda naman ito. And the back looks very Porsche. Oh my God. Yan na nakalagay. Po. Huh? Hindi siya Porsche. Porsche! Ah! Porsche naman, no? Ano ba yan? <laughs> 1,312! <laughs> Ay, no cases were harmed in this video. Now, in terms of the video, syempre, iPhone still wins on that part, pero kasi... Now, in terms of design, syempre, you've seen it in my review. I'm gonna compare it with the S23 Ultra. This looks really massive. And of course, the iPhone 15 Pro. Well, the Pro Max is coming soon pa sa akin channel. <laughs> kasi nga, walang available nung binili ko siya. Now, at first glance, compared to the other two, si Huawei P60 Pro ay yung pinaka-sexy, pinaka-manipis, pinaka-wild yung design. Also, it is the lightest among the three. Ito pa si Huawei P60 Pro. Pero in terms of yung build quality, yung sturdiness, si S23 Ultra talaga, grabe to. Oh my God, this is a tank. Tapos yung camera, syempre si S23 Ultra. Meron 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cameras. iPhone has 3. And this one also has... Three. Wala na pong like si Huawei. But ever since they parted ways, the system has gotten a lot better in terms of yung kanyang image quality. I'm not sure what happened there. Siguro, they're paying like a Siyempre, doon na pupunta yung funds. Kung sariling technology nila ginamit, much better. Mas makatipid sila. Pero nakito niya ba yan? Look at the lens dito sa Huawei P60 Pro compared to others. Siya yung pinakamalaki. Ibig sabihin ba niya, napakalak ng sensor niya? Siyempre, it's just aesthetic sa labas. No? And of course, ito yung mga camera nila. As you can see on the screen, ang pinakamalaking megapixel dyan is si Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra with over 200 megapixels of camera power. 48 MP naman si iPhone 15 Pro. Bagong-bago lang siya dyan sa 48 MP arena. <laughs> and si Huawei naman, 48 MP din siya. Well, ito yung compare no? Actually, si Huawei yung pinakamalaki din sa 48 MP na telephoto lens. And of course, ito yung mga photo na nakuha namin using all free phones. Now, syempre, this is uh, why I switched video. So, kinopare ko lang si iPhone 15 Pro with the Huawei P60 Pro. Konti lang with the S23 Ultra kasi nga, well, I don't have that phone yet. Pero syempre, if you wanted to know which one is the best, ito na po. So, nung nandun kami sa Switzerland, immediately nakita namin yung difference ng dalawa. Now, in terms of yung sa outdoor shots, this could be very very subjective. Napansin lang namin na si iPhone ay hindi ganun ka-accurate. It tries to saturate it more, add more contrast, and over-sharpen the image. Ito lagi problema ko sa iPhone. When I shoot a picture of a person, sobrang over-sharpened nung kanilang itsura. Wala na siyang beautification. Pero kasi syempre, if you really want that real look dun sa inyong itsura, ito na yun, iPhone. Kasi yung ginagawa ng ibang smartphone, they try to make you fresh a little. Bagong ligo po kayo dito sa mga Android devices. Pero sa iPhone, what you see is what you get. In terms of yung itsura nyo. Pero kasi in terms of colors, I always see that the Huawei P60 Pro always gets that accurate look to it. While also enhancing it a little bit. I'm not saying that it's the most accurate phone. Ito si P60 Pro. No, it's far from it. The Huawei P60 Pro gives you a little bit of accuracy. At the same time, gives you that convenience na one click lang, Instagram agad yan. So kasi sometimes, kapag sa sobrang accurate, hindi maganda tingnan yung image in real life. So kailangan i-enhance ng konti. And that's what the Huawei P60 Pro is doing right here. Kaya nakita nyo, kapag nag-click kayo ng shutter, it's not the final quality. Nagkakaroon ba ng post-processing? Tingnan nyo to, ha? When I take a picture, and after a few seconds, tinan nyo yung image dun sa gallery. Boom! Nagbago, di ba? Actually, for me, that effect is very magical. Mas naging pronounced to, no? Kapag sa low light. In low light, this was the defining factor. This is where you decide whether to buy the iPhone or just go with the Huawei P60 Pro. Kasi nga, ang layo ng difference, guys. Ito naman, ha? In terms of camera technology, I think Huawei has gone so far away sa competition. Alam nyo ba, sila yung number one sa DxO Mark website right now in terms of the camera quality. Number one, number two lang po si iPhone 15 Pro Max. Na feeling ko binayaran lang ni Apple. Hindi, wow. I mean, the S23 Ultra is better than the iPhone 15 Pro Max. But, but nasa second place. That's why I think it's paid. Pero ito si Huawei, sure to. Uh, they've tested it out. I've tested it out. And the results are consistent. It is the best camera on a smartphone. Ito na ba low light comparison. I've compared it with the 15 Pro Max and also the S23 Ultra. Now in terms of yung low light capabilities ni iPhone 15 Pro, it's actually much improved compared to the 14 Pro Max. Dati kasi, hindi makuha yung tamang color 
kapag ka ganito yung ilaw. Uh, it's actually bluish before, but now, the iPhone is able to at least have half the image quality ng Huawei P60 Pro. The Huawei P60 Pro just destroys the two in terms of yung color accuracy, yung sharpness. Akala mo, may ilaw. Wait, baka nagsabi nyo, nagsisinungan lang nyo dito, naggawa-gawa ko ng ano. This is actually the process na ginawa namin. So, tunay po yan na results. Wala kaming ilaw dito sa kwarto. Binusala namin na konti yung ilaw dun sa pintuan sa labas para may konti naman kahit pa paano. Pero Vince, ano yung use niyan in real life? Well, the use is actually very huge. Kasi most of the time, nasa loob tayo ng indoors, malls, parties, sa bahay. Actually, sa bahay yung pinakamadaming times na nag-shoot tayo ng mga photos natin. And you would want something very reliable just like the Huawei P60 Pro. Kasi ito yung parang tipong confident ka na dalhin kahit saan sa gabi and just take a picture of anything. Kapag nagpipicture sa iPhone, kailangan ko ba siyang ilawan ng ganyan? Which is pangitin yung photos. Promise, masyadong overexposed, harsh yung lighting and things like that. But this one, all we need is the camera. Itutok mo lang and you will get for sure a very good image. Straight mo na agad sa Instagram yan kasi alam mong maganda siya. Si S23 Ultra, although maganda rin siya, also na-maintain niya yung aking very sharp fa uh, face, medyo nag-focus talaga siya sa face dito. And yung box dito, na, kung mapansin nyo, medyo blurred na. Siya yung pinaka-blurred among the three. And also bluish yung kanyang tint or yung color. The winner here was the Huawei P60 Pro hands down. Talagang ibang klase tong phone na to. And that's why I wanna show you more pictures dun sa aming Europe trip comparing the iPhone 15 Pro and the Huawei P60 Pro. Also guys, kapag ka nagmamadali kayo, uh, wildlife shots, syempre, gumagalaw lagi yung subject, ito yung napansin ko, mas mabilis po mag-burst or mag-click uh, mag ng shutter itong sa P60 Pro versus sa iPhone 15 Pro. Look at this, parang instant lagi, pak, 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 ito naman sa iPhone 15 Pro, medyo may lag ng konti, may delay. So, kasi nagpa-process pa siguro siya dun sa kanyang pre previous na photo, pero si Huawei, tira-diretso lang siya, which is grabe. Sobrang, <laughs> Impressive nun. Ito yung tipong uh, kapag ka hindi mo kontrolado yung lugar, yung space mo, yung subject mo. Perfect for animals, for babies, for things that you don't have control of. That's why this is like the overall perfect camera. Pati yung zooming pa, di ba? The zooming was incredible. Ito yung mga samples sa mga zooming. Well, si iPhone 15 Pro, wala siya yung 5 times zoom, 3 times zoom lang. So, we're gonna go digital on this one. And as you can see, wala, walang sinabi. Uh, pero in terms of Kay S23 Ultra naman, I think the S23 Ultra has this. So, kinumpare namin siya, yung kadalang zooming, 10 times ha. Ito yung kasi yung pinaklear. So, when we took the picture, dito nag-kick in agad yung image processing ni Huawei. Talagang thin rush niya si S23 Ultra dito. Uh, sharper image, color accuracy. Even the background is ang daming details. So, from the hair, grabe. Ibang class ito. Ang ginawa ni Huawei dito. I mean, di ba paniwala yung empleyado ko. Si, guys, kay LJ pa lang yung S23 Ultra. Thank you, bro. Sana all <laughs> for lending us S23 Ultra. Buti ba si LJ? Samsung, ano na? Siya na sponsor namin. Si LJ at si Ugreen. Okay. Now, in terms of the video, syempre, iPhone still wins on that part. Pero kasi, Huawei has updated yung kanyang video capabilities as well. Ito ba yung comparison, no? I think, humahabol na si Huawei dito rin sa video. Kailangan na lang niya ng more R&D, more testing, and more experience dito sa department ito. Video. Although in camera talaga, wala na makatalo sa kanya. Pero video, we need more of that. Oh, pero by the way, ito yung wala sa iPhone. Built into the app is the Pro Mode ni Huawei P60 Pro. Kung serious ka na photographer, this is actually what you need to get more flexibility in your photography. Para mas meron creative freedom. You get to control all these settings right here. Meron pa siyang raw mode. And that's actually what you get on something like an Android device. Like the S23 Ultra, meron din siyang gato kadaming mga settings right here. Pero guys, uh, huwag kayo masyado madala dun sa kanyang physical aperture kasi nga, nalaman na lang namin, kailangan mo palang lumapit para makuha yung background blur dito sa physical aperture. Usually, ginagamit namin yung virtual aperture to actually get that blurry background effect. And I hope this is something na Huawei will actually fix in the near future para sa kanyang physical aperture. Sayang kasi, no, it is a variable aperture and it's something really nice to have. Kaya kasi, hindi nagpapakita dito yung f1.4 na level of bokeh na nakita mo sa DSLR. Yun na naman. But everything else, wala akong masabi. This, the best camera, smartphone that you can buy right now. Sobrang reliable. Bar none. And it's 23,000 pesos less than the competition. Of course, kasi makita yung kanyang performance. Ito po, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 po siya. 4G lang po. Of course, makakapag-game kayo dito. 
Mobile Legends, Genshin Impact. Pero syempre, in a sense, it's not actually the fastest device on Earth right now. Kung yun na naman mo, actually, ito na yung okay na to eh. In terms of yung performance sa binibigay sa Genshin Impact, sa Mobile Legends, is actually adequate na. Also, napansin ko rin, when I was using this in Europe, napakatagal lang kanyang battery life. Oh, sobrang kunat niya. Ang tagal niya maubos nung kanyang battery. iPhone ko, ang bilis po maubos nung battery. Yun lang. Yun, yun talaga yung pinakaayaw ko dun sa iPhone ko. Which is, lagi ako nag-charge iPhone. Oh my God. It's not even a whole day. It's like half day lang ubus na agad after taking videos and photos. Now, in terms of yung kanyang display, the display is a 6.67 inch. Ang pinakamalaki po dyan is si... S23 Ultra. 6.8 inches po yun. The display on that is massive and, and that phone is actually the best in terms of display. Si Samsung po yung may best display sa isang smartphone. Even si iPhone ay gumagamit ng Samsung AMOLED din niya lang minamarket but it's actually the same technology. And si Huawei Huawei AMOLED WAMOLED parang WAMOS WAMOS LED Last mo nila. And also maganda rin yung Huawei ecosystem the integration between the devices is very smooth. Using Huawei devices on this thing is very smooth as well. Para katulad kay Apple, meron siyang AirPods and things like that na madali mag-connect dito sa mga phones niya. And if you got the Huawei MatePads and the laptops, mas maganda ang magiging experience niya dito if you have those. So I urge you, of course, hindi pa rin siya perfect. It still doesn't have Google. Maging tutupo po tayo. Wala po talaga siyang Google and uh, for some, that could be a big deal breaker. Like, bago ka umalis at mag-decide na, oh, Wala pa lang Google yun eh. They actually have a solution now. A very re reliable solution that lets you install Google Apps instantly and use it just like your normal Android device. Ayun no, I'm just gonna go to the app gallery, install YouTube, and yun na. YouTube is there. Open ko si YouTube. Wala na extra kung ano-ano pa. It works just like your regular Android phone. Of course, meron silang workaround dito, which is the G-Box. And this G-Box is actually pre-installed na when you open up this phone. Huawei actually did that for us kasi nga, syempre para sa mga Huawei users na katulad natin, kailangan talaga natin ng streamlined solution na. Ayaw natin na mag-dig in pa sa mga kung ano mga tutorial. Kasi uh, lahat IT! Mahirap na, mahirap na. That's why marami nag-stray away kasi nga, pag Huawei, oh, daming hoops kang dadaanan dyan para lang ma-download yung ano, YouTube, uh, Google. But now, wala na po. Thank you so much, Huawei. So guys, again, pricing, 58,990. Ito naman ay... 84,999. Balikad pala. And the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is 81,990 pesos. Pero syempre, lalabas na yung S24. Malapit na. So, hindi siya nagmura. So, same pa rin yung pricing niya. Pero gumura ito pagka lumabas na yung S24 Ultra next year. Ako kasi, I'm a very big camera fan. Video, photo. That's why, I chose Huawei. Pero syempre, it doesn't mean you have to do the same. Kung mahilig ka na talaga mag-photos and things like that, this is actually the most compelling reason to get the Huawei P60 Pro. No doubt about it. And I'm not gonna hype it in any way. I'm just sure that this is going to be our phone. Ito rin yung gagamitin namin for our events in the near future kasi nga, puro low light po yung mga events namin. And also, we want a phone na very accurate even in low light. Yung colors accurate pa rin pag picture mo. And syempre, i-upload na naman sa aming website. Go check it out! Unboxstudies.com We got it all for you. And if you wanna see more videos just like this one, mga Huawei pa na videos, tapos kasi nga, gagamitin ko na ito siya. Mag-subscribe ka lang! Hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content about sabihin and you're watching Unboxstudies. Ooh!